Hello and welcome back for another episode with your favorite Project Lead the Way teacher, Mr. Spain. Today we're going to be calculating the sewer slope, uh, sewer lateral slope calculation. Um, we are going to be basically figuring out how far down our sewer pipe needs to be below our building to maintain a good slope down to the, the city sewer so that we don't get any backups or uh, any sort of nasty things coming from our sewer system. So as always, let me share my screen with you and let's get started. Today we're going to start off with looking at the PowerPoint from three, sorry, from 2.3.10. And you can read all about uh, the history of sewers back from the Roman times and everything like that uh, on this PowerPoint or on a different one. And um, what we are going to concern ourselves with is maintaining a minimum sewer lateral slope of 1%. So that's one eighth inch per foot. So how does that equal 1%? So an eighth inch is 0 0.125 divided by 12 inches per foot multiplied by 100 to get a percent, and we have 1.04, or basically 1% slope. So slope, rise over run. We know this stuff, okay? So here's our slope, rise over run. We basically have this difference in elevation, call it our Y, divided by the distance from the building to the sewer main. Okay, distance from the building to the sewer main, we can get. Open up your site plan, go to level one, go to modify, and there's this little tool called tape measure. Um, here's our road, and this is where our sewer main is running. So if you go to, if you go to, I believe it's either level two or no, if you go to the site plan, you can zoom in and notice right here, that's our, our sewer main. Um, now, that's basically saying a property line, but um, also, if if I, your professor should give this to you. So, uh, under wastewater facts, so from the uh, worksheet that I'm going to give my students, I'm going to say exactly where that sewer is running from, I'm going to say where it is above sea level, how many feet, and what diameter pipe it is. I'm also going to give them a benchmark of, hey, we, we shot this point with our laser level, and we are at six. 658 feet above sea level. So there's a difference between the benchmark and where the sewer pipe is. So that difference is our, it's a height calculation, that's an elevation. So right here, um, I know the elevation and I know from where I place my building and where I'm going to have my sewer pipe leave, leaving my building, I can get a distance. In this case, I'm just going to call it 125 feet uh, to the middle of our building here, that should give us a pretty good understanding of, of where we're, how far we need to go. So uh, we have an elevation of the sewer pipe, we have the pipe diameter, we have our benchmark, and we have the distance from the sewer pipe, uh, from the, basically the sewer main to uh, where our building is. Now, distance below the benchmark that I have here is, this is what I get to choose. I at least need to be, because I live in Wisconsin, four feet below because I need to be below frost level for my sewer pipe. If you look at the picture here, um, I need to be below four feet so that it won't heave, eventually break, uh, causing major backup issues, okay? So I need to have at least four feet below, but I, I can be more or less, and I can use that that difference, that elevation difference that I that I can choose at the building how far down I put that pipe to basically dictate my slope. So distance from the building, we have different uh, distance of the elevation, difference of the elevation, that requires a little bit more calculating because you'll notice um, is at a certain height, but we're also below that height because we're, we are essentially uh, tying into halfway into that 10 inch pipe. So if we go on to the next slide, slide 13, you'll notice there's also half of the outside dimension, outside diameter of that pipe we need to take into consideration because that's part of our, our Y, our, our rise, or in this case, our, our sink, how far down we're going. So the elevation of the building minus the elevation at main, which is really uh, elevation at main minus half of our diameter because we're we're not tying into the top of the main, we're tying in halfway down to it, okay? So what we have here is then 
an equation that we can use. So we have B3, which is our benchmark, minus our elevation of the sewer pipe, minus our how, how far below we're actually going to dig that pipe down or trench that pipe in, and uh, half of our uh, diameter, which was 10 inches. And then we're going to divide it all by uh, the distance to that sewer main, basically meaning the lateral uh, the lateral distance. So how, that's our, our run at that point. Okay, So this gives us a slope, and I put it in a percentage. Um, I have it at 6% 6 per, 6 right now. The minimum is 1%. The maximum we get a little bit, the maximum is 10 feet per second. Uh, we, we want our our water to be running or our sewer to be running. Uh, that's that's not a percentage, that's a, a different calculation. We'll just leave the maximum to other people. Uh, the minimum slope, that percent, is what we're looking for. So if I have at least four feet, I have a 6% slope, that's good. I don't want to dig down more than I have to. If I dug down at six feet and trench that in six feet, I'd get closer to our 1%, but I don't need to do that. My four feet is fine, and we'll just leave it at that. So if you have any questions, Please let your professor know or leave a comment in the video so that I can help answer your question. But other than that, I hope this helps, and hopefully you'll be able to calculate your lateral slope of your sewer pipe running over to your sewer main.